If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, do people with social anxiety have friends? By Thomas A. Richards, Ph. D. Google Plus. All day, every day, life is like this. Fear, apprehension, avoidance, pain, anxiety about what you said, fear that you said something wrong, worry about others' disapproval, afraid of rejection, of not fitting in, anxious to enter a conversation, afraid you'll have nothing to talk about, hiding what's wrong with you deep inside, putting up a defensive wall to protect your secret. You are undergoing the daily, chronic trouble of living with this mental disorder we call social anxiety disorder. See also, 4 ways to overcome shyness in 14 days, mold it up. Very few people understand the agonizing and traumatic depth of social anxiety disorder. Social anxiety makes people go inside themselves and try to protect this secret. Most people with social anxiety disorder try to hide it from others, especially from family and loved ones. There is fear that family members may find out they suffer from social anxiety, and then view them differently or outright reject them. This is almost never true, but the fear of this happening makes many people with social anxiety stay in their dark closet. A man finds it difficult to walk down the street because he's self-conscious and feels that people are watching him from their windows. Worse, he may run into a person on the sidewalk and be forced to say hello to them. He's not sure he can do that. His voice will catch, his hello will sound weak, and the other person will know he's frightened. More than anything else, he doesn't want anyone to know that he's afraid. He keeps his eyes safely away from anyone else's gaze and prays he can make it home without having to talk to anyone. A woman hates to stand in line in the grocery store because she's afraid that everyone is watching her. She knows that it's not really true, but she can't shake the feeling. While she is shopping, she is conscious of the fact that people might be staring at her from the big mirrors on the inside front of the ceiling. Now, she has to talk to the person who's checking out the groceries. She tries to smile, but her voice comes out weakly. She's sure she's making a fool of herself. Her self-consciousness and her anxiety rise to the roof. Another person sits in front of the telephone and agonizes because she's afraid to pick up the receiver and make a call. She's even afraid to call an unknown person in a business office about the electric bill because she's afraid she'll be putting someone out and they will be upset with her. It's very hard for her to take rejection, even over the phone, even from someone she doesn't know. She's especially afraid to call people she knows because she feels that she'll be calling at the wrong time the other person will be busy and they won't want to talk with her. She feels rejected even before she makes the call. Once the call is made and over, she sits, analyzes, and ruminates about what was said, what tone it was said in, and how she was perceived by the other person. Her anxiety and racing thoughts concerning the call proved to her that she goofed this conversation up, too, just like she always does. Sometimes she gets embarrassed just thinking about the call. Finally, the meeting is over. A big wave of relief spills over him as he begins to relax. But the memory of the meeting is still uppermost in his mind. He is convinced he made a fool of himself and that everyone in the room saw how afraid he was when he spoke and how stupid he acted in their presence. At next week's meeting, the boss is going to be there. Even though this meeting is seven days away, his stomach turns raw with anxiety and the fear floods over him again. He knows that in front of the boss he'll stammer, hesitate, his face will turn red, he won't remember what to say, and everyone will witness his embarrassment and humiliation. A student won't attend her university classes on the first day because she knows that in some classes the professor will instruct them to go around the room and introduce themselves. Just thinking about sitting there, waiting to introduce herself to a room full of strangers who will be staring at her makes her feel nauseous. She knows she won't be able to think clearly because her anxiety will be so high, and she is sure she will leave out important details. Her voice might even quaver and she would sound scared and tentative. The anxiety is just too much to bear so she skips the first day of class to avoid the possibility of having to introduce herself in public. I'm always going to be an outcast, he says. And he spends the night alone, at home, watching television again. He feels comfortable at home. In fact, home is the only place he does feel comfortable. He hasn't gone anywhere in 12 years. He has no network of support to help him overcome these horrible symptoms. In public places, such as work, 
meetings, or shopping. People with social anxiety feel that everyone is watching and staring at them, even though rationally they know this isn't true. The socially anxious person can't relax, take it easy, and enjoy themselves in public. In fact, they can never relax when other people are around. It always feels like others are evaluating them, being critical of them, or judging them in some way. The person with social anxiety knows that people don't do this openly, of course, but they still feel the self-consciousness and the judgment while they are in the other person's presence. It's sometimes impossible to let go, relax, and focus on anything else except the anxiety. Because the anxiety is so very painful, it's much easier just to stay away from social situations and avoid other people. Many times people with social anxiety simply must be alone closeted with the door closed behind them. Even when they're around familiar people, a person with social phobia may feel overwhelmed and have the feeling that others are noticing their every movement and critiquing their every thought. They feel like they are being observed critically and that other people are making negative judgments about them. Find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.